Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We had uh, talked about VPNs at some point in the past, and I never really used a VPN before, but realizing that when I would go out and about and connect to either open networks or even uh, security-enabled networks, not knowing who could be intercepting my traffic, I became more and more aware uh, of getting to the internet, uh, doing my email and general web surfing through proxies, uh, anonymous largely, or specifically through virtual private networks. And the software for VPNs has always just confounded me. I've got to admit, it just never seemed to be that simple. So Wireless Packet from our chat room uh, explained this software. He's demonstrating it. This is a video he recorded and sent me uh, for a program called Hamachi. So Wireless Packet, if, if, if he's, on, he's on Skype with us right now, um, do, we, do we just call you by your handle? Um, yeah, you can call me by my handle for now. I mean, okay. Uh, you, you, obviously, you obviously know my name, so I, mean, yes. I just don't feel too comfortable with people. That's fine. <laughs> Calling me by my first name. That's fine. Uh, so, could you explain? Well, number one, I mean, what a VPN can do, and, and number two, specifically where Hamachi has a role in helping people surf more securely. Basically, your your standard VPN encrypts the traffic and encapsulates it. Uh, so when you connect, when you're over the web, all that tr all that traffic, like your instant messaging traffic, your email, um, all that stuff is encrypted. Because a lot of the uh, AIM traffic you use is, is in plain text. The emails can get captured in plain text. So what a VPN does is it just makes the connection more secure. It's just a point-to-point -point connection. Um, VPNs are expensive to run, you know, for your average you know, individual. Um, Hamachi allows just a regular user to create their own little VPN network. And what you do is you install the software, uh, create a network name, and uh, give that name a password. And basically, you can have other computers join that network, and you can use uh, file sharing between them. You can use FTP, you can use VNC, remote desktop connection. And it makes it very, like, really nice and secure. You can use it at internet cafes, um, in hotels, Anywhere you can get free uh, an open public Wi-Fi, it uh, it makes things a little more secure. VPNs in general. In general, VPNs, but Hamachi acts like a VPN, basically, but it's free. VPNs are expensive, you know, for you to uh, for you to use a VPN. I'm pretty sure you've used VPNs before, uh, you know, for business. And not uh, really, no. To, it, to buy a, I never did. I never yeah, because really? I I'd always try, and it'd be like, okay, so. <laughs> Because I'm not a network admin, you know. Everything I do is you know, is pretty basic. Um, okay. And, and I, you know, I, even I'm, a, I guess, an above average user in that capacity. Um, I I just started to realize that, you know, there's a possibility that someone could sniff uh, and pick up, you know, something that I don't want them to see. And so that's why, you know, that's why I started looking, you know, further and I was like, I've got to figure out some kind of VPN solution. And the Hamachi, after I figured it out, it, I, I think it really, it's going to save me a lot of um, worry when I'm away from home. Oh, of course. Of course. I, I use it on a regular basis, like, like, like I said. Uh, you know, I... If I go away on vacation and I and I want to use uh, you know access my email and, and I'm a little wary that you know someone's in a hotel or, or an internet cafe or you know even in Central Park in New York City I mean there's there's free public Wi-Fi all over the place I mean there are people that can be running you know uh, packet analyzers uh, like Wireshark and just capturing that that network traffic and then replaying the traffic you know and then they basically have your your personal information if you are doing anything that, that's private you know with Hamachi basically you you know if you're at Starbucks or wherever you open up your laptop launch Hamachi you know if you have your your clients already connected let's say you have a computer at your house that's connected to your Hamachi network you basically launch Hamachi log in it connects and you can use uh, remote desktop or, v, or VNC to control your computer at home and 
browse your email via your apps. You know, and it makes things a little more secure. And, and you know, for me, I mean, I feel safer doing it that way. And Hamachi currently has a client for every operating system. For, uh, yeah, um, OS X, uh, which is uh, Hamachi X. Uh, you have the Windows client and you also have the Linux client. So, which, you know, I, you know I, I ran through the install and it, the learning curve, I got to admit, it was just a little... It was just a little bump. I mean, there was a small learning curve. But after I realized, oh, so if I set this up this way, and if I do, if I put the client on this machine, then I put the client on that machine, and I put the client on another machine, suddenly I started to realize how cool this was. I mean, yeah. just, uh, I mean, amazingly cool. I don't think I will ever feel safe surfing on a public network again without going through my private Hamachi network. When, I mean, I, I'm going to Germany in uh, another week or so, and, yeah, you, you bet I'm setting up Hamachi at home because, oh, yeah, you know, I, 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 I got I, – there's no other way around it. If, if I don't yeah. have a secure way of getting to data, I'm in trouble. And the great thing is, is Hamachi is free. You install it, read the instructions, install it on every computer, trust me. Geeks will figure this out. It's very cool. It is oh, yeah. exceedingly simple. You just don't think too hard about it, and you'll get it. You'll 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 start to understand. Install it on your laptop. When you have it running, you'll be able to access your desktop at home, and then do your email there that way, rather than hitting send and receive on your laptop. I mean, you, you know, this is a this is so so much of a better way to go. Oh, definitely. I mean, what really sold me on, on Hermachi in general was Steve Gibson just ranting and raving on how secure it was and then explaining the process that when you connect to Hermachi, the initial connection happens uh, at the Hermachi server, and then from there on in, everything's point to point, so it's peer to peer. So none of your traffic ever goes to the Hermachi servers. So if you have a computer in a hotel and you have your computer at home, the traffic goes from, from your home uh, to the hotel. It doesn't ever go straight to Hamachi. You know, which makes everything even more secure. You know the traffic's not being beamed out to a server, captured, and then beamed back down. It's 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 peer to peer, basically. It's it's secure peer to peer. Well it's, uh, I, I wanted to thank you uh for pushing me into using it. I mean I kept saying I don't I didn't I got it, but I didn't really understand why. And you know, I mean I, at the fundamental level, yes, I understand I need it, but as I started on one computer, it just seemed to be like, why am I doing this? Then when I installed it on the second computer, suddenly, yeah. I got it. It, it, it kind of clicked. You were like, oh, now I get it. I understand it. At, now it's, it's just, uh, it took two computers to do that. I mean, it really. I mean, because you need it. I mean, you you can't just have it on one machine. You almost you have to have it on two. I think you get up to sixteen, uh, per for the free 16 version. Sixteen clients. Sixteen clients for the free. Uh, 256 clients for the paid. I believe the paid version is $49 uh, for the year. Yeah, but most um, people using that level, that's that's really professional. That's enterprise, yeah, that's enterprise level stuff. Um, I mean, uh, I just want to say one other thing. It's 256-bit AES encryption, and you can use for your network password 64 character upper and lower case uh, for the password. Wow. And it's just, it makes things so much, I mean, it's just really secure. All right, so hopefully you guys at least now know of Hamachi if you didn't already know, and I, I got to give props to both Wireless Packet as well as Steve Gibson, an old friend. Um, you uh, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. If you know of a better way of connecting over any kind of network securely to your own network, uh, by all means, make the recommendation because I've been looking for years, and I wish I had Hamachi... Even last week, it, it would have come in handy. Uh, so anyway, leave a suggestion, comment, follow-up in, in any thread. Uh, certainly interested in sharing even more information about how to live life online more securely. Or, of course, you're welcome to stop by the chat room. That's how I met Wireless Packet. He came into the chat room one day and realized that what we were trying to do and, and that I was uh, I didn't know everything. I never claimed to. And uh, so when he offered suggestions for some of the network issues that I've had, I mean, the suggestions work. Hamachi is beautiful, i got to admit. Never thought I'd like Yellowtail so much. Ponzi really likes Yellowtail. That's, 
if you eat sushi, you'd understand the reference. Anyway, even if you don't eat sushi, you're welcome to stop by our chat room. We're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, chatting at live. Oh, wait, you want to say it, Wireless Packet? Sure. Uh, live.torillo.com. We'll see you later.